frankly, many people haven't heard of the school. Uh, we're in the Midwest. A lot of focus is on the coast, and New York especially, and we're not part of that. It's sort of charming, and a lot of headlines would say, like, we're out in the middle of the cornfield, and, and look what we've done. But, um, you know, it is what it is. We don't have a composition degree, um, so, so I'm getting... Um, music education majors or performance majors uh, and then some people that are a little more serious about continuing with composition but very diverse population some people just want to try it what, what in the world is writing what, what is involved you know um, and so they try it for a semester or two or, or others are a little more long-term and go on to graduate school and are interested in making a career out of writing so we have all these different um, you know, bodies with different levels of experience in our studio, which is fabulous for, for discussions and different, different viewpoints uh, when, when we are discussing topics. Um, you know, the n number one thing that I want them to leave with is sort of a better understanding of the process of writing a piece. You know, we tried different processes, and uh, I just want them to have an understanding that it's a little more than, you know, a lightning bolt striking them and the piece comes out and it's done. It's hard work, it's a craft, and um, that's what I hope they, they gain from me, whether it's for ju through just a semester of study or, or much longer. Before I came to Grand Valley, I had no clue what new music was, um, and what I did here I didn't like. Um, then one day, one of my friends said, hey, we're doing this sound painting thing, and I'm like, what's sound painting? And he goes, oh, it's, it's so cool, you'll, you'll love it. And so I go, and um, there were no stands, and I was completely terrified. So I sat down, and um, Dr. Ryan did all these weird motions. He's like, okay, see if you can catch on. And um, I was really uncomfortable. Um, and then once I realized that anything goes, um, that kind of opened up a whole new world for me. Um, and it also helped me in my classical um, music world too, because I became less self-conscious as a musician. I mean, when you're sitting there making sound effects going like, like um, you, you can't really care what any, anyone thinks. Breaking past just the concert, that's just everybody goes up there in a tuxedo, bows down, plays a piece, and that just seems kind of robotic to me now after like this completely open experience where it's where we play in a dance studio, we play music that challenges you. Can be it's, it can be like incredibly grinding or completely beautiful. It's just like a whole spectrum. I have a way more open definition of what music is and how it can connect other arts and life, and it's just like. I'm totally inspired by this. I just think, it, you know, life as a composer, um, it's, it, there's a lot more than just writing notes. And what I'll do frequently with my students is after they've completed a piece, uh, sort of look back at that time period and, and we'll say, well, how much were you actually writing of 100% of this time period versus notating, you know, in finale? How much were you communicating with, with performers? How much were you rehearsing? That kind of thing. And the writing sort of comes down and, and it never really dawns on them 
until we reflect on that. And, and for that reason, I mean, there's so much more than just writing. Um, you know, it's sort of building relationship skills and um, being able to corral people, being, uh, being a, a strong conductor, someone that can rehearse well, um, I think is almost as important as the actual training of the craft of, of writing. And I, I think that as a result that they get, that they see all that, that they're much more successful when they, when they leave because they're a little more grounded in reality about what it entails to get their music out there.